Have you heard of the phrase shugwalama or have you eaten yet? Well, it's what Chinese people often say to each other as an ordinary, everyday greeting. In fact, they say it all the time. Now, this does seem quite logical, as in the past, Chinese people didn't have an abundant choice of food. There's no such thing as a free lunch, they say. But in China in 1958, there most certainly was. To boost productivity in fields and factories, workers were encouraged to come to special communal canteens where they received a complimentary meal. The logic here was that they wouldn't be wasting time preparing the food at home. Everyone sat at a table eating the same food from a huge pot known as Da Guo Fan in Chinese. You can get a real sense of it from this poster which reads, the commune's canteen is powerful and the dishes are deliciously made. You eat as you wish and the production ambitions will rise. Disaster hit China a year later as supplies of grain and other foods were severely hit. It soon became apparent that there wouldn't be enough food to feed everyone. And the days of eating happily out of a da guo fan became a thing of the past. People were forced to scavenge for nutrition to stay alive, with many searching in the wild for what became known as melon and vegetable substitutes. These included anything ranging from plant roots to tree bark. Communal dining was discontinued in 1961. But let's talk about something a bit more fun. And as a product of China's planned economy at the time, people received a fixed amount of food stamps for their work each month. And they could be exchanged for the likes of grain, flour and cooking oil. Now, it wasn't really much use having real money back then because the state-owned stores required these food stamps as well. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Now this all began to change in the early 80s as China's reform and opening up programme gave the people more freedom to buy and sell as they liked. The food stamps concept would eventually fade out. Meanwhile, as more and more restaurants sprouted up in the cities, people sometimes decided to give themselves a bit of a treat and eat out, also known as going down to the restaurants. At that time, eating in a restaurant was a bit of a posh thing to do, as not everybody had the luxury. Fast forward to today, and it's a totally different world in China. Choices are abundant, with both domestic and international cuisines. And they're available quite literally at the push of a button. From the comfort of my own living room, I can order my favourite dish on my mobile device, and I can have it delivered to my door in a matter of minutes. Quick. Yes, 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 yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. And this is all thanks to people like me. I'm a Wai Mai Xiao Ge, which means food delivery brother. Now that's because nearly all the delivery drivers are young men, and it's their hard work that makes the food delivery possible. And I'm running late. And Chinese people not only learn to satisfy their appetite, but also to pay a little bit more attention to a healthier diet. Just like the old Chinese saying goes, Ming yi shu wei tian. Food is as important as the heavens above.